Hey everybody, it's Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class YouTube and the new Flats Class University. Today, I'm going to share a little tip with you about how to catch spooky or persnickety redfish that seem impossible to catch. And no, the tip is not about cut bait. It's not about gulp. We're professionals here at Flats Class University. We're going to teach you something that's really useful that you can guarantee success on the spooky redfish schools around your area. Stay tuned. So many of us are plagued with the issue of dealing with fish that are hard to catch. And post cold front is a typical scenario when this happens. Uh, another another uh, scenario when this happens a lot is when other boats are around and they've been putting a lot of pressure, especially on school fish. But for me, I have found a technique that I have developed over a long period of time. And I typically used to use this with bucktail jigs but a few years ago, the Ned Rig came out. That's right. These little small baits from Z-Man, the Ned system, it's an entire system. And it works fantastic on catching spooky redfish. And the side benefit is the fact that you're also going to catch plenty of flounder. You're probably going to catch plenty of speckled trout. Uh, a couple of snook here and there. You're going to catch more than just redfish. In fact, I've had days where we've caught over 100 fish. So the NED system really works. Now there's a lot of profiles in the NED system that works very well, both in fresh and in salt water. But one of the new profiles that I like the most because it's an adaption of us cutting down the hula stick is the TRD Ticklers. Now the Ticklers is basically a half a hula stick and it works fantastic because the bait has action when you do nothing at all. And anytime you can be taken out of the equation on spooky redfish, it's a good thing. So let me show you how this bait really operates in my little fish tank system over here. All right, before we start moving the TRD ticklers around in the tank like crazy to give you an idea of the action it can provide, the best action it has is very little action. And that's the same thing you got to consider when you're approaching spooky redfish. I see guys on YouTube videos and on my boat switching baits, thinking this is going to work, thinking that's going to work. In essence, you likely are the biggest part of the problem. And that's why I was talking so much about taking you out of the equation. This is what you need to think about when you approach a spooky, calm water situation, waters post front. It's just tough to get near these redfish. You're going to have to figure out how you're going to make a cast that is far enough away from the group of fish you're trying to catch so that the lure lands in a landing zone where it's not going to be intimidating or affect the school to start with. Two, you need to work that bait in such a fashion, okay, that it's moving slow enough, creeping back to them, that they're not intimidated by it. So there can't be any of this wild popping. You can't make the bait look like a butterfly or hop like a grasshopper in two feet of clear water and expect, well, good results. So that's the other thing that you need to consider. Lastly, if you don't have a lightweight kayak you're unwilling to wade, you really need to have a technical pulling skiff because to accomplish this, you're gonna to have to get pretty close to the fish. I have a delivery system I'll share with you in a moment that'll get the bait out there probably 100 feet, but you've gotta be able to creep within 100 feet of these fish without them knowing that you're there. Now, let's do a close-up on how you actually work this bait. Now, like I said in the very beginning, circling back to the very beginning of this video, I used to use this technique with a bucktail jig all the time, and the reason why is the bucktail jig would breathe even when the bait really wasn't moving much. And I used to use this in an area up in upper Tampa Bay and I could catch some of the spookiest redfish that I felt were in the state. But what the nice thing is about the Z-Man fishing product, a Laztec material, is the fact that it doesn't matter how cold the water gets, it really doesn't. The bait is so soft 
that it always has action, even when it's at rest. So if you can just imagine a little wave or pinfish bumping on this, that this bait's always going to have a little bit of action. And just trembling it and making sure that little mushroom head stays on the bottom, you see how the bait stands right up. That stand up action is what drives fish crazy. So you're literally dragging this bait on the bottom and stopping it, dragging it and stopping it. And that crazy wild action. Now I like a few other profiles that are in this series of the Ned system, but this TRD Ticklers has turned into my favorite. Very shrimp-like. This is the hot snakes color, but there's a medley of colors that you could use uh, that are gonna be very effective. I like this particular color because it's one of my faves. But uh, think about it. This is on a one-tenth of an ounce jig head. So you're going to have to throw it on some pretty light line. And that's what we're going to talk about next is what, what system, what delivery system is going to make this awesome so that you can get it to the fish. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next part of the video. But I just wanted you to see how alive this bait truly is. So how do you throw something that small to a group of spooky redfish. That means you're going to have to get close. That means you might have to wade. You might have to use a paddleboard or a kayak or a skiff. If you push pole, you're going to get close enough. If you're in a bay boat, it's going to be a little tougher. I'm not going to kid you. You know, anytime you're running a trolling motor, it makes it a little bit harder. But it can be done, especially if you understand where the fish are going to be. You can literally power pole down with a bay boat and let the fish come to you. And as you see the school moving around, launch one of these baits out in front of it, let it sit there and barely tickle it, barely tickle it and catch them. But here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a lightweight system. My favorite is in the Clearwater series from Falcon. This is a seven foot medium light in their spinning rod outfit in the Clearwater system. In fact, I have it as my Ned Rig rod. <laughs> I wrote it down on it. That way in a moment's glance, I'm gonna grab it. Here's the specs so that you can see them. They're right there on the rod. You can see it's an SWS. That way you can take a quick snapshot of this and make sure that you guys get this. This, this rod will throw anything 1 16th all the way up to nearly a half an ounce. But the sweet spot is 3 16th to a quarter. And because I'm using a 1 10th ounce jig head, and then the weight, and this one I have the Finesse TRD. This is in uh, like a craw color. Uh, I like to use anywhere from 15 to 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. Now that leader is typically 24 to 36 inches long. The line itself, well, I use a couple of them. I'll use uh, either 10 pound spider wire all the way down to six pound spider wire but I use the eight pound on this one. <laughs> That's why I don't have it. So you can tell you're gonna need some light line. Eight pound spider wire will cast a country mile. So whether you're using you know, the spider wire, the suffix or whatever your favorite brand is, I'm telling you, it will work. Now, let's wrap this up with a few closing statements and kind of a roundup of what we've been talking about. So I know I gave you an awful lot to digest. But if you were a bucktail jig fan and you were throwing eight ounce bucktails to these redfish and you were having success from time to time, think how much success you're going to have with the Salty Ned rig. That's what I like to call this, the Salty Ned rig. You take the TRD Ticklers or the Finesse TRD. You could take a TRD Minnows. You could even take the, the TRD Trick Shots. Any of those four profiles will catch a lot of redfish. I'm telling you. Hopefully, the little tip that I shared with you today and the little demonstration in my science experiment tank there really will put a lot more fish over the side of your boat coming up this winter. Hey, if you like what you see and what we're doing here at Flats Class University, I really want you to hit the like thumbs up button here at YouTube. And I also want you to subscribe and I want you to share this stuff because all of this stuff is free. If you watch Flats Class University on waypointtv.com, you know it's free. There's no fees, there's no subscriptions, there's nothing. We don't charge you tuition. The only time you get paid to have to pay any tuition for Flats Class is if you come see me live at one of the live Flats Class Universities that we do from time to time. So please get the info out there. Stop getting skunked by spooky redfish. Use the Ned Rig.